Hey guys, today we are going to learn how you can transfer your WordPress website from one server to another. So if you guys want to change your hosting partner or simply want to move your WordPress website to a new server, you can do it. In this video, we are going to show you how you can do it easily. So first, let's take a look at our site. We have logged into one of our websites. So we're going to take a look at it. You can see this is our site. Okay, we have a few more pages. This is the about page, blog page, and there are more pages over here. Okay, so I want to transfer this website to a new server. To do this, we are going to use a plugin. So let's get back to our dashboard. And to install this plugin, we're going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. From here, we're going to search for a plugin called WP Vivid Backup. Okay, here's the plugin, WP Vivid Migration Backup Staging. So this is the plugin that we are going to use. You can see this has over 400,000 active installations, over 982 ratings on WP.org, and it's also compatible with our version of WordPress. So to install this plugin, we are simply going to click on this Install Now button and wait for the plugin to install. All right, our plugin has been installed. Now we are going to click on the activate button to activate the plugin. Now, after it's activated, we're going to see a message over here. It says plugin activated. Some changes may not occur until you refresh the page. So we are going to click on this button, which will allow us to refresh our page. Okay, now you can see that WP Vivid has been added over here. And there are so many options over here, backups and restore database snapshots, staging, export and import, image cleaner, settings, and so many more options. To transfer our WordPress website, we first have to back up our site. This will allow us to get the files of our website in a zip folder. So in this backup and restore section, you can see we can back up our site. First, we can choose what we want to back up, the database plus files, WordPress files, or only database. So for a standard backup, we are going to select this database plus files. Also, we are going to choose this save backups to local. We also have the option to send backup to remote storage. But for our purpose, these two options are best. After you select these options, we are simply going to click on this backup now button and wait for the backup to complete. Now, depending on the size of your website, it's going to take some time. Usually it's around 30 seconds. All right, our backup is complete and you can see in this tab over here, our backup has shown up along with the time and date of when this backup was made. From here, we can download this backup just by clicking over here. So I'm going to do that. And it's going to zip all the files up. It's also going to show you the size of the file. So we're going to click on this download button and now it's going to download our file. Okay, once the download is complete, we can now log out of our website. Please note, since you are changing your hosting server, your website's DNS will need to have the new server's details. This is necessary to point your domain name to the new live server. So contact your new hosting provider to get the server's DNS information. Then contact your domain name registration provider to update your domain's DNS information. Remember, DNS updates can take some time to be effective. Once the DNS update is complete, you need to install a fresh WordPress site on your new server. Your hosting service support can assist you with this. When your new fresh WordPress site is live, then log into its dashboard and follow our tutorial from here. Now that we've downloaded our original website's backup, it's time to restore it on our new server. So we've created a blank new WordPress site on our new server. As you can see, we've logged into our fresh new WordPress site. This is just a blank WordPress installation which is using the default theme. Now we'll install the WP Vivid plugin in this blank site and then import the backup of our original website. This way we will get our original WordPress site in this new server. So we're going to go to plugins and click on add new plugin button. And here we're going to search for WP Vivid backup. 
And here we can see the plugin. It's over here. We're going to click on install now. Now let's activate it. All right, the plugin has been installed and activated. Now we're going to refresh. And it's going to bring us to this same section. Now we are going to click on this upload tab. And over here we have the option to drag and drop a file or select a file from our computer. So we're going to select the same compressed file that we downloaded just a few seconds ago. Okay, once you select the file, it's going to show up over here. We're simply going to click on this upload button to start the upload process. And you're going to see an alert over here that says the upload has completed. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see the file has shown up over here in the backup section. Now, to transfer our site, we can simply just click on this restore. And over here, you can see there's a warning that says max allowed packet is 4 MB. It's too small. The recommended value is 16 M or higher. Too small value could lead to a failure when importing a larger database. Now, the packet size we have for our site is 4 megabyte and the recommended size is 16 megabytes. Now, if you have a small website, usually 16 MB is not needed. You can transfer with 4 MB. But if you have a larger database, what you can do is contact your hosting provider and tell them to increase the max allowed packets. Now, I'm going to show you how you can check your database's maximum allowed packet limit just in a minute. First, let's restore our site. Let's click on this restore button. And we're going to click on OK. OK, so the restoration is complete here in the alert. It says restore completed successfully. I'm going to click on OK. Now we are going to be logged out of our site because we have transferred our previous WordPress site on a new server. Our credentials also has changed. Now the credentials that we use for the original site must be used over here. Now let's log into our WordPress site in the new server. Okay, so this is the credentials that I used for my original WordPress site. So now I'm going to click on login. Okay, now let's take a look at our site. You can see everything transferred successfully. And the design is looking perfect. Let's take a look at the other pages. Yes, everything is working perfectly. Nice. Now, if you're getting an error when you are trying to go to other pages, what you simply need to do is save your permalink structures. To do that, go back to your WordPress dashboard, um, hover your mouse over settings and click on permalinks. From here, just simply click on save changes. Okay, and you should see this message over here, permalink structure updated. Now, if you visit your site, you can look at your other pages, okay? Now, what about the maximum packet size? Now, if we go to tools and click on site help, in the info tab, if we click over here and scroll down to database section, here we can see there's a value over here that says max allowed packet size. This calculation is in bytes. That means we have four megabytes maximum packet size in this server. To increase this packet size, you need to contact your hosting provider. After your transfer is complete, you can again contact them to set a reasonable and normal amount of packet size. So that is how you can transfer your WordPress website from one server to another. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.